Today, we're going to learn to program using a drag and drop language called Blockly. Blockly uses colorful instructions called blocks to build programs that you can use to solve puzzles. Under the hood, you're still creating code. Each puzzle you'll solve with the code is split into four main parts. On the left is the play area where your program will run. In the center, you will see the toolbox area that holds all the blocks that you <coughs> need for each puzzle. To the right is your workspace, where you will drag blocks to build your program. Finally, above the workspace, you will see the specific instructions for each puzzle. Don't worry if you accidentally drag out a block that you don't need. When you have an extra block, simply drag it into the toolbox, put it away. After you hit run, you can always hit the reset button to get your character back to the start so you can try again. All right, so if you haven't if you haven't got started, this is your first day, you should be here in lesson two, puzzle two. Um, and here's where we get started. So here, uh, again, like, like she said, when you see the angry bird and the green pig is our play area. Right beside that, you see where it says blocks. That's our toolbox. That's where all your code will be. Right next to that, you have your workspace, and that's where you'll build your programs. And at the top here, you have your instructions. And also, you can read your instructions. Also, there's a play button right here. So if you hit this play button, it will actually play the instructions for you. So let's play the instructions. For this puzzle, drag all of the blocks together and click run to watch it go. All right. So here we have two move forward blocks in the workspace that aren't connected. The win run block that you see, that win run block means when we run this program, it will run those commands that are beneath it. So we have this Angry Bird here. Uh, each one of these square spaces will be considered one move. So he needs to move one, two spaces to get to that pig. So use your mouse, grab the command, hold it down. When you hold it down, you can move these commands and drag them all over the workspace. You can drop them wherever you want to drop them. All right, but we want to connect them to this win run block puzzle piece. So one, two, and click one. So you just you just click those two move forward blocks to the win run block and then run that program. And it, so every got that if you just got started today. You got that? Okay, cool. All right, well, now let's go to continue to the next one. Okay, let's read the instructions. Drag an extra block out of the toolbox to finish your code. Okay, I'm going to, I need to start over here. All right, so we have the same thing here. We have the angry bird here. We count one, two, three spaces. So he needs to move three spaces. To get to the green pig, you connect these that are already there. One, two, and then we go into the toolbox, grab our third move forward block, connect it. All right, so now we have one, two, three move forward blocks. We run this, run this program. <laughs> Again, for move forward. Continue. All right. Puzzle four. Let's read the instructions. This pig is ruffling my feathers. 
There is one extra block that is going to cause the bird to crash. Throw it away by hooking it from the gray blocks and dragging it back to the toolbox. All right, so this is a this is a very important lesson because you have to understand that in order to expose the green block here that needs to move, you need to move everything underneath it. So if I grab this block right on the, underneath it, everything that's attached to it comes with it. So you'll need that throughout these throughout these lessons to understand that whatever block you grab, whatever is attached underneath it comes with it. So I can take these commands and I can just sit them here to the right because you can sit them anywhere in the workspace. I want to take this green move forward block, take it and put it back into the toolbox because we don't need it. All right. Because he only needs to move forward once. The way the program was set up. Let me run it as it was set up already. The way it was set up, if we, put, if we press run, he slams into the wall. Right. So there's something wrong with this program. So we we go, we take these blocks sit them to the side, and this is the term you throughout the program. We we're debugging this program. We're finding what's wrong with this program, so we're debugging this program. So we take it, put that back into the toolbox, take the blocks that we have left, and reattach them. So now we have move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward, which should get us to the green pig. Press run. <laughs> and and also here, a, a a key tool for debugging your program. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna place this back here like it was when we first started. You notice here in the play area, you have a run button and you have a step button. Now, this step button will take you through your program step by step. So if I'm debugging my program and I'm looking for the, the, the piece of code that shouldn't be there, then I can use this step button to go through my program step by step. So if I click step one time, he just does the first step, right? So, so far, so good, right? We, the first step is good. When I press it again, we see that the second step is where we have a problem. So, when you're debugging your programs, if you have something and it's not quite working and you can't find the problem, using that step button, the step to check your program step by step will help you to efficiently debug your programs. So you can go through it and you can find the problem if you go through it step by step. Is everybody okay? Anybody anybody have any anybody have any questions about anything so far? Okay, cool. All right. So let's go to puzzle five. All right. Uh, let's play the instructions. Trace the path and lead me to the silly pig. Avoid TNT or feathers will fly. TNT means to the green pig, and we need to avoid that TNT box. So we need to move forward. All right, so he moved forward there. All right, he'll need to turn right. All right, let's, and again, we can press, we can use the step button or we can use the run button to check our program. So let's click run. All right, so far so good. So, so our program is there. He's facing that way. All right, so from here, we, we know we need to move forward again and we need to turn left so let's reset and let's run that part of it
So again, we're, we're, we're building our program step by step. We're building our program step by step. So now we're staring the pig right in the face. So all we need to do is move forward one time. So we have move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left, move forward. So that is the program that will program the angry bird to get to the green pig. All right, let's let's play the instructions. Follow this path to get me to the pig. Avoid the TMT. So we need so let's trace that's trace our path here. All right, so obviously he needs to move forward twice because we got two two block spaces here. So he needs to move forward twice. And again, we can run to check our program as we go. So now he needs to turn left and move forward two more times. So we have move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward. Let's check our program. All right, let's read our instructions. Keep calm and help me find the bad pig. Otherwise, I might get angry. Get the bird to the pig and avoid the TNT. All right, so here's a new block. If you guys would have done uh, the course B, you would already have been introduced to this pink repeat block. One of the great things about computers is they're good at repeating the same task over and over and over again, like a, a million times, a billion times, however many times we need to re a computer needs to repeat an action. Computers are really good at doing the same thing over and over and over. So this pink block is called your pink block or I mean, your repeater block or a loop. So a loop means that it's going to run the same program, the same command over and over in a loop. So we're going to use our loop here to get to this pig. So the first thing we need to do is we need to either turn right or left, either way. I'm going to turn right. All right. And then I'm going to move forward. And then I'm going to turn left. So let me check that part of my code and make sure that's right, because I need to get him from behind this block. That's the first thing I need to do. So let me click run. All right. So from this, from this point, we see that he needs to do the same thing three times in a row. One, two, three. He needs to move forward three times in a row. So instead of having to drag out three move forward blocks, I can condense my code and I can use a repeat block, use one move forward block and tell the repeater to do it three times. All right. So instead of me having to put move forward, move forward, move forward, or if he was even farther away, say if he was 10 moves away, all right, instead of having to use 10 move forward blocks, I can use a repeat one move forward block and then I can tell the the program to move forward three times. Let's check that part of our code. Okay. So that that gets us there. Okay. So that takes us to that point. So now we see we need to turn left and move forward. So this program that we just wrote will tell the angry bird how to get to the pig. So let's click run.
to puzzle seven. Turn right, move forward, turn left, and a repeater, move forward three times, turn left, move forward. Again, we have to work through these, these puzzles step by step. So that that is the solution to puzzle seven. So now let's go to puzzle eight. Okay, this is a challenge puzzle here. So you'll you'll find uh, the puzzles again. Will the puzzle will continue to get harder, but they'll also introduce new concepts. So I'm ready here. All right, so let's play our instructions. It's time to get angry. Challenge. This code has a lot of bugs. You'll need to remove some blocks and add others. Okay, so here is a here is a place where. Uh, this program has a lot of different errors in the program. So we need to work through this program, find the errors. Step button to do this challenge puzzle. So let's look at step one. And you see when you press the step button, you'll see that, that yellow barrier to highlight whatever step that we're on. So we have a yellow barrier around the, uh, the, the first Move forward block. So, so far, so good. Let's step again. Click step. Step two. So far, so good. Let's go to the next one. Turn right. Oh, hold on a second. I need to start over because I may have done this. Okay, no, I haven't. Reset. Reset. Let me make sure it's start over. So step one, okay, step two, okay, step three, so far so good, step four, so far so good, okay. so that's where our program failed, we ran into TNT right there, so obviously uh, we don't, we don't need that move forward block, so like I told you before, Grab the blocks underneath that block that you want to remove. Take this move forward block, put it back into the toolbox. Now let's reattach. All right, so now let's reset. Let's go back step by step. Step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. Step five. Okay, so far so good. Step six. Step seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so right there we we failed right there. So right there we needed a turn block. So let's take this last move forward block, set it over here to the right. You can either set it to the right or you can put it back in the toolbox. Either way. So I'm going to set it here to the right, and I'm going to add in a turn right block, all right? And then I'm going to add back in that move forward block. So that's, that should be the solution to this puzzle. So let's, let's, well, let's go through it step by step. Step one. Step two. Step three, step four, step five, step six, step seven, step eight, step nine, step 10, step 11, step 12. So again, you have to use that step button to work through every single step to find where you may have a mistake and fix it. How's everybody doing on that one? Got it? Give 
me one second. I'm having an issue here. So it looks like we have Isabella, Genesis, and Tavion who started eight but haven't gotten it. So Isabella, Genesis, and Tavion, you guys need help? If, if you if you if you guys look here, if you guys look here to the right, everybody who's in yellow. Everybody who's in yellow has started this puzzle but hasn't finished it. Everybody in white in white hasn't started it. So the ones there in yellow, you need do you need help? Do we need to work through it again? Yes. If you have if you have a question, uh, this, ask Mr. King to allow you to walk up to the computer and then I can hear you better. Oh, lesson three. Okay, cool. Okay, well, after after I'm done here, then because uh, I uh, after I'm done, it's so Isabella, Genesis, and Tavion. Again, when when you guys finish this puzzle, this this part will turn green, and you guys haven't finished it yet. So Isabella, Genesis, and Tavion, you guys need help? You got you okay? Well, again, that puzzle is yellow, so make sure you get it finished. It shouldn't be yellow, it should be green. So if you don't need help, uh, keep working through it. If you just want to continue to work through it, I just want to make sure. Okay, somebody had a question on lesson, lesson three? I think lesson, hold on, let me see. I think lesson three is an unplugged activity. Oh, okay. No, it's not. Okay, so lesson three, what puzzle? Um, okay, go back. Okay. 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 Lesson three, which puzzle is it that you need help on? Oh, yeah, definitely. Hey, class, if you, you don't have to wait on anybody. If you know what you're doing, you can work at your own pace. And there are videos to introduce all the new concepts that may come up. So you don't have to wait on me. I'm going through the lesson two to make sure that we don't leave anybody behind. Everybody on at least is at, at the same spot as far as moving up. But you, if you're, if you're good and you don't need my help, you do not have to wait on me. Go at your own pace. But the only thing I ask is don't leave any puzzles blank, all right? Um, and if you get to a puzzle that you're struggling with, raise your hand and let Mr. King uh, acknowledge you. And you can walk up to the screen and tell me what lesson and what puzzle you need help with. But no, you do, you do not have to wait on me. Work at your own pace. And if if if, if you're knocking it out, knock it out. And, and the the class, your classmates that are doing well, like if you got a classmate sitting next to you that's moved, that's done a puzzle that you're having trouble with, it, it, you, instead of having to ask me, I, I would rather you ask your classmate. I, I, I would rather you guys work together to support each other. 
Uh, but if you need my help, I'm here to help you. So you can do you can do as many puzzles as you want, as many lessons as you want. Just do not skip ahead. Don't skip ahead on anything. Work every puzzle how the instructions ask you to. So, so Isabella, where's Isabella? Isabella. Isabella, so this is your screen. This is your screen here. So one of the things you, you did, you added, you added in commands and you didn't have to add in anything. All the commands you needed to solve this puzzle were already there. And then if you look at the at the at the workspace, that this purple block, you see where it says 17. In 13, you were only supposed to use 13 blocks for this puzzle, and you used 17, right? So you didn't need to add any blocks to this puzzle. And then if you're if if the if the commands aren't connected, then they're not going to run. So you see here, you have some spaces here in your code. And again, this is your screen. This isn't my screen. If you can look here to the right, you can see your name. Uh, so this is your this is your screen. So what I want you to do, I'm going to go back to my screen now. So what I and what I want you to do is. On the purple, on that purple uh, bar, right above the workspace, where it says start over, I want you to click that to start over. So whenever you get a little bit out of whack and you feel like, you know, I, I've gotten a lot of blocks, or I got a lot of bugs here in the program, and I'm kind of confused, just click start over. And that will reset the entire puzzle and take you back to the beginning. Because again, we still have, we have, well, Trav Travion finished it. Isabella in Genesis, I want both of you guys to click start over. Click start over. So we can, so, and once we click start over, and again, that start over button is right here, uh, in, uh, right here on the right of the purple bar. So click start over, start over, and then we'll get here. All right. So again, I'm going to work through it with you guys step by step. So first, let's read the instructions. Let's start back from the beginning to make sure we get it right. It's time to get angry. Challenge, this code has a lot of bugs. You'll need to remove some blocks and add others. Okay, so it, we'll need to remove some blocks and add others. Now, if you look at that purple block, it says 13 of 13, which means we already have 13 blocks there so we already have the amount of blocks we need so let's use our step button again we have our run button that orange button and we have an orange step button so we can go through it step by step so let's click step one so far so good step two all right so far so good step three okay he made that right turn step four all right, step five. Okay, so at step five is where the mistake is. Step five, and you can see here this yellow barrier around that move forward block at step five. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that turn left block right underneath, right underneath step five. We're going to take it, 
and set all of these blocks here to the right. Set them to the side. We're going to take this move forward block here and put it back into the toolbox. So we don't need it. That's what caused our program to crash. And then we're going to reattach this code. Then we're going to click, then I want you to go and click reset. Now reset here, the, the reset button, not start over, reset. All right, reset. And now let's go back to the step button and let's go step by step again. Step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. Step five. Step six. All right, so far so good. Step seven. Step eight. Step nine. Ten. Eleven. So that last that last block is where our mistake is. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that last block and sit it here to the side. We were here, we needed to turn right. So we're going to take a turn right block out of the toolbox and add it. All right, so we're going to add that turn right block. Then we're going to take this move forward block here and add it there. All right, so now to the reset. And now we, if you've done that, we should be able to run our program. I didn't mean to go for it. All right, so that's so that's what it should look like. Move forward, move forward, turn right. Move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward, move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward. So I'm going to leave this solution here. Make sure your solution looks like this. Okay, good job. Isabella now has it. Genesis. Genesis now needs to get this done. So Genesis, are you okay? Let me look at what you're doing here. What's your... Okay. I want to... Okay, Genesis. So the first thing you need to do, Genesis, is let's look, move forward, move forward. Turn right, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward, move forward, move forward. So Genesis, all you need to do, it looks like, is here at the at the bottom, not not the one that you don't have attached. You need your last turn right block right between this space here. So you need to you need to add a turn right block right here. So go ahead and add that. And this is for Genesis. Turn at that move right block right here, right between this space here. And I think that's the add. And one of these move forward blocks, you can put it back into the toolbox. But since it's not attached, it's not going to run anyway. So the only the only the only programs that run are programs that are attached to the win run block. So these blocks that aren't attached, the computer's not going to do it anyway. So Genesis, do you have it? You see it?
Genesis. Hello? Oh, I, do, you, do you see it? Are you working it out? Are you working it out, Genesis? Okay. Again, so all you have to do is add that turn right block. Look at the screen. This is your screen. So this is this is what you should be looking at. This is what's on your screen right now with puzzle eight in lesson two. So again, this is your screen. So all you need to do is this little space right here between this move forward block. You need to add a turn right block and then attach the, one of these move forward blocks to it. Take one of these move forward blocks at the bottom and put it in the garbage. Put it in the, put it back into the toolbox, basically. So you need to you need to drag one turn right block from the toolbox, and you need to add and take one of those move forward blocks and put it in the garbage, and then you'll finish with this puzzle. What's that? <laughs> And in class, since we're since we're approaching the end of the class, you guys can go ahead and log off, uh, and then we have a, a, a another video to show. So go ahead and log off, and then I'll queue up our video. <laughs> Everywhere you look, there's a so at the beginning of class we do our computer science video. Uh, but one of the things we always want to we we also want to introduce you guys to is some different financial concepts. Like there are different financial concepts that you're gonna need uh, just as a foundation when you become an adult. So we wanna start exposing you guys to some of those uh, financial principles. So Warren Buffett is one of the, the wealthiest investors, one of the wealthiest businessmen in the history of the country. And he created a cartoon series called The Secret Millionaires Club to start to introduce you guys to some different financial concepts. So we're going to watch a quick video uh, from the Secret Millionaires Club. So hold on. Like I told you, the law of attraction is much I should have to wait if one of us is late. What? That is quite ironic coming from you. Perhaps you should start the meeting, Radley. Okay. This meeting of the Secret Millionaires Club is called to order. Wow, I must really be late at the lameness here already. I always have an excuse. What's yours? I was in a job interview. That's a good excuse. How'd it go, Jones? I didn't get it. What's the fourth one this week? And your excuse is that you went home to change to your regular clothes before coming to this meeting? No, I came straight from the meeting. <clears throat> you wore those clothes? Sure, why not? Your sartorial predilection is unfortunate. And you have lousy taste in clothes. Ah, uh, that too. I'm not surprised you haven't been hired, Jones. Why? I'm smart, trustworthy, and punctual. Actually. Huh? You remind me of a pink street computer. Well, that is an inappropriate analogy, in my opinion, Mr. Buffett. Peachtree computers are quite excellent and brilliantly designed. 
Oh, yes, they've always been excellent. They used to look plain and ordinary. And they didn't sell very many computers. So they completely redesigned themselves. They became sleek and modern looking. And ergonomic. Yes, and now they're designed as what attracts potential buyers who then discover that it is, indeed, an excellent product. So I need to hire a product designer? No, in your case, you just need a little advice from someone who knows clothes. You only have one chance to make a first impression. <laughs> to your job interview? Sure did, Mr. Buffett. You're looking at the newest employee of the Van Buren Bakery. Congratulations. In what capacity? I'm a baker's assistant. So long. I gotta go change my clothes. Remember, it's not just the contents that count. It's the whole package. Both products and people need to present themselves well. And now, here's words from Warren. Hey kids, Warren Buffett here. Every business needs to package itself properly in order to become successful. All business acts on the outside reinforces how the business acts on the inside. Packaging yourself right is also important in life. The scorecard you keep on the outside reflects your inner scorecard. You want to show respect to be respected. Admire honesty is part of being honest. And be lovable to be loved. So remember, the outside reflects the inside, and the inside reflects the outside. It's not just the contents that count, it's the whole package. The best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you'll learn. <laughs> All right, I will see. I will see you guys in the next class. Uh, great job today. Uh, I guess I will not see you guys next week because we have uh, Thanksgiving week, uh, so you guys will be out. I will see you guys the following week. But great job! And remember, like Mr. Buffett said, it's how you package yourself and how you present yourself. So always present yourself as a great kid. All right. All right. Cool. All right, I'll see you guys later, all right? Have, all right, have a good evening. Good job today.